Make way for the double champ. The following contest is a hell in a cell match. And is for the WCW World Heavyweight Championship. Making his way to the ring from St. Louis, Missouri. Weighing in at 245 pounds, Dr. The Thug. Only a small handful of WWE superstars have held two championships simultaneously, and this man now joins their ranks. Yeah, it's an honor no matter how long you hold both titles, but the reality is most double champions lose at least one title before long. This man is determined to be the exception rather than the rule. You talk about standing at the top of the mountain, this guy is at the peak of Mount Everest. Indeed, it is going to take a monumental effort to take either one of this guy's titles. It's Vader time! And his opponent, from the Rocky Mountains, weighing in at 450 pounds, the man they call Vader. You want to know what kind of a man Vader is? A bad, bad man. He once ripped off Mick Foley's ear. I think that's not necessarily a bad fate, considering I sit next to Saxton every week. Well, hey, I heard that. He fears no man, he feels no pain. Check your watches because it's time. It's time. It's Vader time. That's right. Come on, let's go. One of the all-time greats. So many championship wins and classic matches. But above all else, the Mastodon, Vader, lives for a good fight. A title coveted by legends and hungry young talent alike. It's Hell in a Cell, so we know there are no disqualifications or countouts. You can only walk out of that demonic structure a winner via pinfall or submission. But Hell in a Cell is one of the most brutal and dangerous matches in the history of WWE. Just look through the annals of history to see what havoc has been wrought in that steel cage enclosure. Well, they call it Hell in a Cell for a reason. If it was easy, they'd call it Picnic in the Park or something. But well, your point is well taken, Byron. Victory must be won inside the ring, and anything not nailed to the ground can be used as a weapon. This is where the dark forces of evil are unleashed. Ooh, man! Oh, my goodness! Guys, he just went through the cell! I can't believe I just saw that. Using his body like a battering ram. Everything is a weapon. Oh no, what is he thinking? Ascending this brutal structure. He made it to the top. Oh, just stop moving. This is what the crowd came to see, guys. This is not what I came to see. Then go home. He's re- That is a long way down. I can't bear to watch this. Oh my God, off the top of the cell. Falling 
from that height, you have to worry about his condition. Yeah, he's slow to get up here, Saxton. Looks like he wants to continue this match on the arena floor or perhaps in the ring. Oh no, what's this all about? He's making the climb. This is rather reckless of him, wouldn't you say? This whole match is reckless, but necessary. And what's he looking for here? With all this in mind, take it from me. Nothing good ever comes from rearranging furniture. Coming back in the ring. Military press. Boom. Big boom. There's a wheelbarrow into the DDT. Was ready for that. Bullseye. He's on his heels a bit now. Hell of a sales made joke, Michael. And they did their best not to let this structure affect them too greatly. I can't begin to imagine what he's got planned here, guys. Maybe it's a yard sale. Now on the outside, right by those cell walls. Somebody's about to get hurt, Cole, and hurt bad. Safety clearly isn't a concern for him right now. How can it be in this type of match? He's all the way up there now. Oh, no. He has scaled to the top of the cell. There's no easy way down now. We've seen some battles up on the cell, and nothing good ever comes of it. Here's the snap mayor. Fracture and orbital. Uh-oh. Great! Oh, oh, my God, off the top of the cell! I can't remember the last time we've seen devastation like this. What must be going through these superstars' minds? Stop gloating and put your attention back to the match. He has a task at hand, but prefers to be showboating right now. He's doing a whole lot of gesturing, and it could cost him. Scaling the cell now, guys. Who knows what he's thinking now? I must say, he's got impressive climbing skills. You're the best, Byron. At the top of the cell now. This is a career-defining moment for him.